This engine was unlike anything GM had ever built for mass production before. It was designed with racing in mind and track durability, the biggest displacement ever, but really advanced lightweight uh, internal componentry. So later, the LS7 appeared in the 2014 and 2015 Camaro Z28, and this was a car that really was built to dominate racetracks with uh, normally aspirated. And beyond factory cars, GM even offered the LS7 as a crate engine option when it became a favorite for resto mods and LS swaps. And that's actually what we ended up doing. We bought a, a crate engine. Now, why did people choose this platform? Well, roughly it was around the same cost as some of the other crate engines, but builders loved it because it gave you that big block capacity and torque, uh, naturally aspirated without needing to throw a turbo or supercharger on it, even though that's, uh, that's what we did. Um, so the LS7 remained in production until it was finally discontinued in the early 2020s. So I think it was 2022 from memory, but um, there are still a few getting around and lots of LS rebuilds are based on the LS7 architecture and the 427 displacement. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of the specifications and what makes it so special. 